Hello and welcome everybody on YouTube to the sixth part in the award winning show Shocks on Saturn. Okay, I might have lied about it being award winning, but welcome anyway. Today is the sixth part and we're going to be playing Sea Bass Fishing here on the Sega Saturn, of course. Hence the name of the series Shocks on Saturn. So it is a lovely bank holiday Monday here. The sun is shining in the UK, so I'm going to do what any English born and bred person does on a day like today and that's stay inside playing on the console. So we're going to do a spot of fishing. Of course I'm not actually going to go down to the pond and do some real life fishing because that would just be silly. No, I'm going to sit here in the comfort of my own house and do some bass fishing. So let me just enter my name in here. Where's the Z? There's the Z. Exit. Let's do this. Good morning! Are you going fishing? Well, that was the plan. What have you come to catch today then? Well, fish. Obviously. If you've not decided yet, try and look at the conditions on the water before you make your decision, alright? Some fish are easier to catch depending on the conditions. Of course! There's nothing wrong with battling against the odds. Yeah, 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 bloody, bloody, blah. And you probably get a lot more satisfaction. Shut up, just get on with it. Weather, fine, tide, spring, flow, whatever, EBB, what the hell does that stand for? Estimated British Bass. Mm, whatevs. And if the weather is cloudy too, those are the perfect blah blah blah. But that's my opinion anyway, nobody asked for your opinion, Stephen Hendry. That's right. He looks like Stephen Andrew, don't he? I mean, look at him. Waistcoat, tie. What the fuck does a snooker player know about fishing? Keep your opinion to yourself, Mr. Hendry. So what we're going to catch? With a Benito. Yellowtail. Whatever that says. Tuna. Uh, let's go for sea bass. Kick his ass, sea bass. So what are you going to fish for then? Yes, it is. If you catch a big one, bring it back and I'll cook it for you. More like you'll suck it for me. <laughs> but you haven't chosen your captain yet. Choose your captain from me. Blah 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 blah. So then. What have I got? So I've got Baldy, Blondy, and Captain Bird's Eye. So it's gotta be Captain Bird's Eye, innit? <laughs> he actually does look like Captain Bird's Eye as well. So you want to team up with me then, do you? Yes, I do. I want only the finest cod fillet for my fish fingers. First of all, let's decide where we start fishing. Somewhere with water, preferably. Oh, look at that, some water. It's a pity, but we can't go there with your equipment the way it is at the moment. And we can't go there. So I've got three choices, and I can only fish in one of them. So what was the point in giving me the three bloody choices? Let's just say, let's fish here because it's the only one you can go to. This line system is for catching sea bass. That's brilliant. Let's talk about laws. That's not. I've already chosen some laws for you. That's alright then. You're doing your job well, aren't you? If you don't like them, you can change them. No, you're alright. We'll go with what you've got. You finished preparing the lures then, have you? No. I basically just looked at him and pressed OK. Hang on a minute! We're going fishing for sea bass, aren't you? No. Can I come along too? No. I'll be careful not to get in your way. Alright then. Yes, you can come along. Great, thank you. I owe you one. No, you don't. You owe me about a hundred. Pounds, that is. For taking me along on my boat. Are you ready? We better decide where to go. Fucking hell. I just want to do some fishing. Yeah, let's just go here. We'll go here. Fucking hell. What engine you got in that boat? A 125? It sounds like my motorbike. Mm. 
So here we are in what looks like a harbour. So I can strafe. I can move the boat left or right with a D-pad. Um, is that it? So basically, I'm fishing right next to the harbour. I think maybe I should have picked somewhere else better to fish. <laughs> So yeah, basically um, this is like a one button game, everything you do it seems to be on button C. You cast your line with C and you read it back in with C. Um, a button does bring up a few options but I've not really played enough of this to actually know what they yet do. But I think you can like put your character to sleep and shit. Oh fuck me, I've got some Let's get it. Get it in, get it in. Come on. What the fuck? It's having a fit. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck you! I thought you got one then. What a pity. Shut up, Captain Birdseye. Keep the barrel of air inside. You'll find my fish fingers all right. Fishing, fishing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, me on. So yeah, you, you can see this power bar here on the left end. You can see the green balls going up and down. You change that with your shoulder buttons, your left and right shoulder buttons. Put your power up and power down. Um, don't actually know what it does. <laughs> As you can probably guess, I have no clue how to fish. I mean, my fishing experience is... What I know about fishing is not worth knowing, put it that way. Fucking hell. As you've just seen, I thought you got one then. That, what a pity. That bullshit. You didn't think I had one at all. You got away from me in about two seconds. Come on. So yeah, as you can probably guess, I'm not much of a fisherman in real life. Um, I've been fishing twice. I've had two fishing experiences. And the first one was um, daytime fishing, just normal fishing. And yeah, I kind of fell asleep because it just bored the absolute shit out of me. And the second time I went night fishing and I got pissed on a lot of cheap vodka, nearly set the tent alight with a cooking stove and I was really kindly asked never to come back to the pond again to do night fishing. So yeah, that's my fishing um, experience in real life. Come on, let's get this bad boy in the net. Let's get it in, let's get it in. So I think, um, the idea of this game is when you're reeling it in, you see your tension bar going up and down in the right corner. I think you've got to kind of keep it in between that. If it goes l low, you lose your fish. If it goes too high, you snap your line or something like that. Um, that's basically the gist of what I get from it. Oh, fuck. Press the wrong button now. Which do you want? Um, fuck it. Let's go for... Yeah, that one. <laughs> I bet there's people now watching this who fish on like a regular basis going you want this line you want this float and you want to cast it over it <laughs> shit like this man I don't know I don't know how close this um, actually simulates base fishing, base fishing, bass fishing I don't know how closely um, this simulates it but whatever I'm shit at fishing in real life I'm shit at fishing on this okay get over it Do, do, do. What can I do for you? I want to. No, I don't want to go sleep. I don't want to write in a diary. I don't want to listen to my Sony Walkman. Let's go for the map. I want to change position because where I'm fishing at the minute kind of looks shit. I want somewhere with more water. Let's go then. Yeah, let's go. Let's get into a better position. Mm, okay, so I can move from the arbor into rocks. Awesome. I'm going to cast my line and see if I can get it through between the two rocks. Oh yeah, check that shit. I've got to do better here, surely. Come on, give me a little fishy, I'm going to get you a little fishy. Yeah, check it out. Bish bash bosh, come on. Going to get you, going to get you a little fishy. I'm going to get you a little fishy. Or maybe not. I tell you what, folks, this is actually harder than it looks. 
you think his fishing game would be quite piss easy, you just catch your line, reel it in, catch some fucking fish, but no. It's actually harder than it looks. I will say though that it is quite a fun game, as fishing games go, <laughs> it's not actually a bad game to be honest with you. Um, I've been playing it for a couple of hours now, and <laughs> so there you go. I've not actually got bored of it yet, so yeah, it's not bad. I mean, fishing games, they can only be so good, I guess. I don't know how, how good modern day ones are, but as it goes, this ain't a bad game. Oh, come on, I think I'm actually going to get this bad boy. Come on, come on. Come to daddy, come to daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Come to Daddy. Oh, have I lost it again? Fuck me! How hard can it be just to catch a frigging fish? So yeah, anyway, um, like I said, it's quite an enjoyable game. Um, if you are thinking about buying this game, though, then. It can retail anywhere between five to twenty pounds. I've seen it go for. It all depends on condition and whether you get sellers taking the piss or not, which they seem to be doing just lately. So yeah, um, make my man do a little dance here, <laughs> awesome stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, between five to twenty pounds, depending on seller and condition, really. In the power region, it is quite um, a scarce game, it's not one that you'll see a lot of copies come up of, so like I say, if you are a collector then it's probably good to just grab one. It is available in Japanese release as well, which I think is, um, I'm not sure, that probably around the same price range and um, yeah, but I think there's a lot more copies available in, on the Japan, in, in the Japan region, so yeah, it's up to you really. If you're a Sega Saturn collector, then you might want to go for this game. Um, if you're not really... Fuck me, I've caught one! Back of the net! Kasago! Let's see the length is. 37.5 centimeters. Get in. And the weight is 1.8 kilograms. Fucking yeah. Oh wait. Oh what a pity, it's not the one we're at. Fuck you. Never mind the next one would fuck you. At least I've caught a fish. What have you caught? You've caught nothing. I'm taking that bad boy home. It's going on some chips. It's getting battered and it's going next to some chips, man. That sucker that is. You're gonna go hungry. I've caught a bloody fish, mate. You've caught nothing. You still owe me a hundred pounds for letting you come along on this fishing trip. So you best catch some fish and get and selling them on. So you can pay me. Let's see if we can get this one too. Oh, it's coming, it's coming along, it's coming along nicely. Ooh, yeah. oh, 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 look at me, I'm on a roll now, man. Not only am I having fish and chips tonight, but the whole family can eat too. So, um, yeah, anyway, back to the game, what was I saying? Yeah, um, it's not a very pricey game, but it is a bit of a scarce game to track down. Not having many copies come up in the PAL region. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say on this game, really. Um, if it interests you, go hunt for it. Um, let's see if I can catch one more before I go. Yeah, let's just go between the rocks. It seems to be working for me so far. At least I've caught some fish anyway. I thought this was going to be like a, a gameplay about fishing. I was not going to catch any fish on it. <laughs> Oops, your line has snapped. Oh, fucking. Ain't that just the way? <laughs> oh, well. I'm going to leave it there, folks. Anyway, you've got a general gist of what this game's about. You've got a nice little overview of it. Um, it's quite a nice looking game. Like I say, quite enjoyable. If it takes your fancy, go and hunt for it. I've been Shock16, this has been Shocks on Saturn. This game has been Sea Bass Fishing. Thanks very much. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Bye bye.